Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, and that means that I am doing the deck profile for Bujins because they're being removed from Daily Duel. So actually today you get double. You get this, and then I believe at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, you will get the actual episode of Daily Duels using the new deck that will be replacing Bujins in the lineup, Stellanites. So, I'm going to go ahead and get to the deck profile. So, we are running, of course, the... It's it's just a Bujin deck. I mean, it's the Royal Decree version of the Bujin deck. I mean, there's really not much to say, so I mean, I'll quickly go over it. Like I said, this deck profile is not going to be long. There's not much to say about it. You run the generic build of Bujins, and that's what I'm saying. This is the, one of the key reasons why this deck is being removed from Daily Duels is because it's boring. It's cookie cutter and boring. It's Bujins. I mean, there's nothing unique about it. There's nothing different about it, you know? Even even Mermel's on Daily Duels is different than, you know, the competitive versions, but this one is this is blatantly just a, a Bujin deck that you would see if someone decided to go with the Royal Decree version instead of going to the back row, so... Three Yamatos, you know what he does. Three Mikazuchis, I mean two Mikazuchis. Three Crane, one Quillen, two Turtles, two Hare, one Bear, one Honest, one Teaking. I'm running three Effect Veilers, because you can see I have no back row, so I have no way of stopping you know, my opponent's effects. So, despite me not really liking Effect Veiler being a neg one in, uh, in this deck, you know, where I don't have any back row, Effect Veiler's not that bad. Spells. Three Tenki. Three Pot, because for some odd reason those two aren't together. I'd usually put them together, but for some odd reason it's not in here. One Dark Hole, one Book. Because, you know, Book of Moon's pretty much my only kind of trap-ish card since I'm running Royal Decree. Two Lamps, because I have three MSTs and three Royal Decree, so Lance isn't that as important. But, you know, it's still good to, you know, use it during the damage step for the 800 minus attack. Lance is still just a great spell card. And three MSTs, of course, because, you know... MST is just the best card. Like, you should be running three MSTs right now. Like, you know, with the top decks of, like, Mermels and, and, uh, and Bujins and Madolches and just a lot, just a ton of things right now. You, you should just be running three MST. I, I, that's just my personal opinion. I, if you don't want to run your three MSTs, then don't. But I'd say it should be one of the top priorities in making a deck. Uh, two Bujin Carnations. It's, I really haven't used it since I put it in. I don't think I've used it at all because I pretty much won every duel and locked it down that I really didn't ever need to use this card, so... <sighs> Whatever. Like I said, it's just a cookie card of Bujin deck. I got really bored of it. I could tell by your your guys' comments that you guys are just getting bored of it as well, so... You know, I totally don't mind just taking it off. And, um, three Kaiser Coliseum because you might as well be an asshole, right? It's Bujin, so you play your motto, play Kaiser, set row or decree. You know, have a crane in hand, add the hair, drop the hair, or add the, or add the hair, drop the, I mean, add the crane, drop the hair, or whatever, have an effect weather in hand, just GG, it's just like, wow, that was fun, uh, GG, I hope that, I hope you guys had fun against this Bujin deck, Yeah, despite me really liking control decks like this, I, I would never play this deck in real life, it's just not my cup of tea, it's too boring for me, you know, Pleiades is way more fun than this deck. Way more fun, in my opinion, than three row decrees because, you know, fuck back row. Because, you know, pretty much the only way you're going to get around my Yamato is back row, so I might as well lock you out of that as well. Extra deck. Two Omega, because fuck back row. One Kagasuchi. I don't even go into him. I don't think I went into him once, so, yeah. Two Susana Noe, because he's good, and he's, you know, when you don't have Yamato on the field, you have Susana Noe well on the field. One Tiger King, so you can grab them tankies, two one oh ones, one black ship, one Exiton, one Abyss Dweller, one Paladimino, oh, even though I rarely use him. Actually I rarely use any of these XCs. It's usually just it's usually just the Sonic Well. The rest of them are just here. Just to be here, just in case. Oh actually I went to Harlan Draco one time, so one Harlan Draco to lock it down with Kaiser and be a douche. Um one Ragna Zero, even though I just recently put her in there because I like Ragna Zero and fuck Fire Fist and fuck Madoches and fuck Harpies and fuck anything that increases your attack, just fuck you. Let me draw a card. <laughs> and one Gaga Ga Cowboy. Uh, if you're planning on making this deck because, you know, I'm running the three failures, I mean, Armides, Armides wouldn't be a bad card. You know, if your hand is shitty and all you've got is one, you could just go ahead and summon one of your things. Hopefully it doesn't get killed. Summon your effect drill and go into Armides, why not? So, this is probably the quickest deck profile on 
Daily Duel history, and you know why? Because there's nothing to talk about! It's Bujins! Like, at this point, if you don't know Bujins, then... Where have you been the last couple of months? Like, it's just Bujins. You just sit on your motto and... Wait! And... That's pretty much what's all been happening in Daily Duel. I mean, it was the easiest deck to duel with on Daily Duels because nothing happened. I could literally sit there and talk and, you know, have a decent conversation and not be distracted by duel because nothing happens. Either I sit on Yamato and win or my opponent just beats my ass. So it's either or. Majority of the time it's just I play Yamato, I play Kaiser, I set Royal Decree. Oh, you scoop. Okay. Next duel. I'll do the same thing. Oh, you quit again? Oh, do the same thing. Oh, you quit again? Wow, what a shocker. Sorry, I just, I don't like Bujins. I really don't. I mean, I'll give a little bit of trivia for you guys, and you guys are probably wondering, like, well, I see up here it says War Gods, and you're like, well, why did they change the Bujins? I don't understand. Why why Bujin? Bujin is so stupid. Bujin has nothing to do with War Gods. It's not even the same thing. And that's where you're wrong. Bujin is exactly the same thing as War Gods, because the word Bujin is War God in Japanese. So, once again, Konami likes to change the name of things, but at least they were close with this one. And you're probably wondering, like, well, Daniel, how do you, how did you know that? How, where did you get this information from? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a little bit of story since the deck profile is actually really short. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of Common Rider, and ironically, the and this does Telenite, so actually it's gonna be based off Common Rider, and, and you'll see it, you'll see it at 1:30. But I'm a huge fan of Common Riders. I recently recently watched this uh, Common Rider movie where it was like an alternate dimension of Common Riders where they were like having this war, and the Common Riders weren't called Common Riders; they were called War God. So it was like War God. And then the common writer name and and Japanese and they stated war god and then of course it was subtitled and they say war god they said bujin and then whatever it is and it's like oh that's where the word bujin comes from it's war god in Japanese all right so there you go you get a little bit of story <laughs> so this deck profile is, um, blech, this deck profile is still short as fuck and to tell you the truth I don't mind this deck being gone. Like I said, I didn't mind it being here, and if you guys wanted to keep on seeing it, I wouldn't mind continuing, but from your comments, you guys are getting sick of it. Looking at the statistics-wise, uh, Daily Duels with Bujin's uh, view count was definitely going down. I don't blame you guys. I, didn't, I don't blame you guys if you didn't want to see Bujin's. It's the same thing over and over and over again, so... Yep. So... Despite it, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Uh, thank you guys for supporting Bujins. It's been on Daily Duel for a cool minute. Uh, you know, not as long as Mermel's, of course, but, uh, yeah, so, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys at 1.30 with Satellanites, so look forward to it. Like I said, it's based around a little bit of Common Rider, so, yeah, so, see you guys then, thanks for watching.